Hey guys, it's SD again. I uh, got a little bit more work done. That uh, 24 volt accessory box I told you I was going to install down there. I did that. Got it all set up. Uh, each uh, individual piece of equipment that runs through it has its own individual fuse. And there's both the attic fan and the uh, fan right above the inverter. Volume. So I got the attic fan hooked up back up there. That one's all ready to rock and roll. And so is the one right below the inverter. So that should keep everything fairly cool. Came out pretty good. I've got one more hole there uh, that's in the box. That's on the side. And that's going to that was the chase way that's uh, going up to uh, the two LED lights I'm going to put up here in the attic. Now on this uh, combiner box uh, my buddy made, I had several people ask me some questions on it. Each of these breakers on here is good from 0 to 48 volts, 10 amps. Okay, uh, They're mounted on a 35mm uh, DIN rail. Uh, he also has breakers uh, for 20 amp, 50 amp, and 60 amp, uh, where you can have uh, five breakers like this set up, and then it all goes into uh, one single breaker as a main disconnect. Also, he has surge protectors. Uh, he has these boxes set up for both 12 and 24 volts. Uh, he also has them where they have their own built-in. Uh, uh, MC4 connections, so all you do have to bring your cable right straight into it and clip it right in and you're ready to go. But uh, if you check out his uh, uh, site on uh, YouTube, it's Alan Marine. And just type that in and you'll see all the different things. He's actually making several air conditioners that don't run on Freon. They're just uh, Pelter modules. And they make pretty pretty nice setup. He has a thing where you can switch them over from both heating and cooling. He's got one called the Big Fish. That thing's huge. And there's a smaller one that's cool in the lower sleeping quarters down to 70 degrees. But check out his videos, guys, if you get a chance. He's got some pretty outstanding stuff. And he's helping me out with a lot of this. Still got uh, the heat sink. I picked that up today. That'll get mounted tomorrow. That'll give me something a little bit to do. And I'll try to get these two LED lights uh, wired in so you can see how bright they are. But I only got to spend about a half a day because I had to run and run, do some grocery shopping and a few other things. So, But it's coming along. Got these all the fans hooked up now. So now if it gets hot in here at all, I can take care of the problem. There's a little homemade uh, 24 volt accessory box. Uh, each thing is again individually fused. So. They're ready to rock and roll. Alright guys, we'll see you later on.